My name is Michael Eliason from Western Sales. I am going to show you how to create an adaptive curve track line on your John Deere Gen 4 display. There are a few ways to get into the auto steer line creation area. The first is if you have a set track button set up on one of your home pages like this. If you don't have that, you will likely have a guidance button in your shortcut bar at the bottom of your screen like this. If you do not have either of those options, you can select the menu button in the bottom right hand corner then applications on the left hand side and then find the auto track guidance button and select it. Next press the select track button. To create a new line select the new track button on the bottom left hand side. You will see that we have a variety of guidance methods. For the adaptive curve we will need to select curve track and then adaptive curve. You will be prompted to create a track name. You can use whatever name you like. I like to use names that describe what the line is or where it is used. Once your name is typed in Select OK and then verify that you have the correct field name for the guidance track to be in. Once you have verified the field, select OK. To create your line, your machine must be positioned where you want the line to start. Once your machine is positioned, select the record button and drive the line that you want the auto track to follow. This is the curve line segment button. Select it when you want to record a section of the line that is curved. This is the straight line segment button. Select it when you want to record a straight section in your line. A straight segment will snap from when the straight segment button is pressed until the curve segment button is pressed or done button is pressed to complete the track. The longest straight section that can be completed is a distance of 0.8 kilometers or 0.5 miles. For a greater distance, the line segments will not connect resulting in a gap in the path. If you select the stop record button while you are driving, no line will be recorded in that section and no straight segments will snap between the last point before you select the stop and the first point when you select record again. You will need to manually steer in this section on all lines afterwards. Once you come to the end of where you want the adaptive curve line to be, select the finish button. This will create your auto track line. You can add curve segments to the line later if you need by selecting the plus segment button. Once you have completed the line creation, you are able to auto steer over that line. If a curve recording session is stopped, the line does not project in front of the machine. The operator can only use auto track on available lines from the previous recording sessions. Ending a recording session saves all recorded curve segments within the session as a single track. Track spacing for adaptive curve track data is constant. If a different implement width is used when returning to the field, new data must be recorded.